Hello viewer, welcome to your favorite cooking show. This is Fast Foods Fast. This is the show where you get to learn about all the fast foods that God gave us and how fast you could fix them in your own kitchen. This is a brand new season and what is special about the recipes that we'll be rolling out during this season is that they are all geared towards specific ailments and if you have something that you would want to know about certain illnesses then this is the show for you to watch. I will be your host, Lois Otiende, and this is my co-host, Tabitha Uchiang. My pleasure to be with you. And we have a very special guest who is also a nutritionist by profession, and she will be helping us stamp through all the recipes that we will be rolling out. Yes, I'm Jacqueline Mudeu. Welcome. Always a blessing to be here. So we are doing today in particular recipes that are very beneficial for cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And what are we starting with today, Tabi? Vegetable stew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when some people get to hear about vegetable stew, they think, ooh. <laughs> okay. Sukuma. <laughs> Sukuma wiki. And spinach. A pot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A pot, or you can say morenda. Mm -hmm. Local not language. Say, not to say that those are bad, yes. but we're just giving another twist to it. Mm -hmm. Vegetables without the sukuma, without the spinach, without the apoth, mm -hmm. and the rest. Okay. And so let us begin with what we are going to have in this particular right. stew. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we have here is uh, red bell red peppers. Tomatoes. Yeah, red pepper. red pepper. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are the red bell Very peppers. Very rich in vitamin A and vitamin mm -hmm. C, uh -huh. which yeah. boosts the immunities. <coughs> boosts immunity. Yeah, okay. and we find that when you put uh, rainbow colors in your food, mm -hmm. red stands for? Blood. 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 Mm. Which? When you have alkaline alkaline blood, yes, then you're healthy. Then you're healthy. Mm. But when it's acidic, the bacteria or mm. the cancer cells does they have a good they, environment. Yeah, they sure. thrive. Okay. They thrive in acidity. So the next thing that we have here is zucchini. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we are also going to have that in the vegetable stew. Yes. What would you say zucchini. about this? Zucchini is very high in the water content of it. Uh -huh. It's very high. Important. Thereby, it helps in constipation. Yeah. Because it brings bulk in the stool, mm. thereby it helps in the bowel movement. It, bowel movement. <laughs> and also it's good for the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good okay. for the skin. But there's also something else, mm -hmm. um, the phytochemicals uh -huh. in it. Mm -hmm. huh? Because as we deal with something like cancer, mm -hmm. you want to clean up, clean up, clean up. Yeah. The phytochemicals, <laughs> I almost want to think they are fighters. And truly they are. No. Yeah, actually. The phytochemicals, phyto stands for? plants yes and it's the chemical the natural chemicals mm -hmm. that are produced yes to fight uh, to I still fight to say yes, yes. Just to for fight <laughs> yes for, for layman's. Layman's. <laughs> so yes. anything that uh, has a okay. phytochemical will it fight cancer it cells, will fight yes. cells. Yes. okay so mm -hmm. the next thing that we're going to have there is uh, this eggplant Egg yes plant? it has mm -hmm. a vibrant purple color purple very good for the nervous system mm -hmm. okay okay yes mm -hmm. okay and then we also have our onions, mm -hmm. the red round. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, what can you say about uh, the onions? Of course, antioxidants. Antioxidants. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Rich in vitamin yes. C. But mm -hmm. I also think they have something to do with the eyes. That is a by the way. Uh -huh. Because why do we chop and then we whip? So uh -huh. it cleans up. It cleans up. That it, yes, yes. It's it, very rich because also there is antibacterial property. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There are bite fights, the mm. harmful bacteria, for mm. example, the uh, E. coli. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's good to fight that. So that way, then yeah. they'll end up fighting cancer cells as well. Cancer cells. Ah, okay. okay. Also, yeah. it's good for colds because mm. mostly we get colds because of the and even chest infections. Chest mm. infections. Throat. Yeah, All anything right. to do with that. Yeah. Respiratory organ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll yeah. have that. Yeah. Now we also have uh, uh, tomatoes. tomatoes. Uh, as you have always liked sharing with us, the shape of the tomatoes, yes, something with the, the heart. Yes, four chambers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it's red as the heart, mm -hmm. therefore it's good for the heart. It mm -hmm. has lycopene, mm -hmm. beta carotene, yeah. good for the eyes. Uh, yeah. So when you talk of lycopene, even the skin uh -huh. as well, then that takes us back to cancer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. cancer of sorts. Yes. And lycopene is, is an something antioxidant. that will, yes, mm. so it will fight cancer. It will fight cancer. Ah, so okay. this is rich. It's this very is, rich. Mm. And it, it's also rich in water. The water that it has and the fiber mm. also help in 
in you bowel know, I'm movement. so excited that you keep talking about water, water, water. Because sure. water is life. Water as we is read life. even in the Bible, water is life. Sure. Okay. And God has put enough water in these things mm -hmm. that we need. And then we also add the water that we take mm -hmm. so that we get healthy. Sure. Okay, fine. Okay. So we also have... The parsley. parsley. Yes, parsley. very rich parsley. and excellent in vitamin C. And, and vitamin also C. people use it to clean the kidneys, the kidneys, mm. the livers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you can use them for that as well. Mm -hmm. Then we have our garlic. Garlic. Just about three cloves. It has garlic. a property. <laughs> the garlic is anti is many everything. things. It's anti <laughs> many <laughs> things. Antibacterial. Anti Antiviral. Anti yes. somebody also says. Mm -hmm. Antisocial, but <laughs> that you can deal with, you know. But you know what? The scent, <laughs> yes, the scent yes. is the medicinal property. That mm -hmm. is the medicinal and property. And you know, you can cut that by taking uh, fennel. Raw, fennel, you can take fennel, yeah. you can take raw. Yeah, uh, so coriander. you can deal with it. So yeah. the yeah. antisocial bit, we are playing that. Okay, sure. all right. Are we ready to start? And of course, our Himalayan salt, mm. which uh, has plenty, numerous. plenty of minerals. Yes, of minerals. now that we are making a fast food and it needs to be fast, then we need to. Just yeah, begin. get going. Okay. So we'll just remember with vegetables, you don't want to cook them for too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, all these nice things we have said, you will not yeah. enjoy. Sure. And then. something we forgot about, uh, forgotten about onions mm -hmm. is that onions absorb. <coughs> so you can you can take the onion My and and remove the uh, remove the cover, mm -hmm. cut it into two, put it uh, in two corners of the house or four corners of the house if you cut it into four pieces, and it will absorb thereby mm -hmm. freshening up okay ah. and actually it's a mosquito repellent it's as a well, mosquito repellent <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah. that's interesting now um what i want us to talk about a little mm -hmm. you know we're saying this would be good for cancer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that so i've had just enough people say time. yes everything together mm -hmm. enough people think Oh, you're diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. that's like a death sentence mm -hmm. How, what, what would you say about that First of all, maybe we can define what is cancer mm. so that our viewers mm. can know what is cancer. Yeah. And before you even define that, yes. people, uh, people say that the body is the most disciplined organ. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Discipline. very reliable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you treat it well, it uh -huh. will behave itself. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what, what, what was this you wanted so to say? So in a simple way, so that our viewers can understand what cancer is, is the abnormal growth of ce of cancer of cells abnormal growth of cells mm -hmm. and like so we've you been talking about food there yeah? yes. we've been talking about food. what oil? is the cause or what leads yeah. to cancer mm -hmm. what leads to cancer what leads to cancer mm -hmm. so as we're talking about that the viewers also need to understand okay. what we are doing inside here okay mm. so we'll put okay. and some salt all right and then we can put That's some done. oil and Yep. We can put some oil. Yeah. You so the preparation me. also matters. Me. So the preparation also me. matters. It's not mm -hmm. about the healthy foods. No, it's not just the healthy it's foods. Also it's the way you prepare them as the well. The way you prepare them as yes. well. Mm. So what are we advising? We're advising uh, what is this? It's a quick That's thing fine. that I would want to mention here is yes. we do not heat up our oil. Yeah. Yes. The normal thing I see people do uh -huh. is to start with oil, then kitungu, uh -huh. the onions, uh -huh. then the tomatoes. Uh -huh. But that way you burn up your oil and once they burn, then what happens? It produces compounds which are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cancerous aldehydes, yeah? Yes. And the excessive buildup of it causes inflammation, inflammation. which in the long run mm -hmm. it will lead to it plays a role in the development of, of cancer, cancer. Yes. Okay. and also that can lead also to fat cells mm. and the fat cells excessive of it leads to production of of estrogen levels uh -huh. therefore uh -huh. so leads to yeah. uh, the cancer the likes of breast cancer ovarian oh. cancer you see uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah so we are talking about antioxidants yes okay. so antioxidants counteract or inhibit mm -hmm. the growth of these cells. The production of the oxidants, ah. where oxidants lead to I free get radicals. That. I Just get in a simple that. way. Yes. The free radicals mm. are the the ones that lead to the damage of the, the cells. The damage mm. of the cells. The damage of the so cells. So we are saying yes. It is good to feed the cancer patients well. Yes. Yes. Give them the right food. Mm -hmm. But this right food also has to be prepared well. well. Mm -hmm. So okay. the preparation of your matters, mm. it's not just about the healthy foods, mm. but it's how we prepare and how we 
store them. That is it. Okay. And I believe that we'll learn mm. the storage as well. Okay. Yeah. So I think Lois, you've we not can given us the tomato yeah. we can put and the, the garlic. Do you have a reason for holding back with them? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Personal preference. Uh, <laughs> sure. No, but there's something about garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? If you overcook it, right. it, you, it will not benefit you Then you'll you just much. get the flavor. Yeah, you'll get, get the medicinal flavor, flavor yeah. benefit. And not that benefit. Exactly. So you want to bring your garlic towards the end mm. so that you benefit most from it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we can Good. have so that. So that will be done in a minute. No, not exactly. So how do we know that you have cancer mm -hmm. through the skin? We can always oh, feel the cancer, for example, through the skin, the soft tissues of mm -hmm. the body, mm -hmm. for example, the breast. Yes. Yeah. The lump yes. and the thicken thickening, th thickening will just come later, maybe yeah. in the later stage. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. the skin mm -hmm. is a, a fast indicator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That what? is the soft That's tissue good. part. Ah. Yeah, ah. not just the skin, but the soft. The soft tissue. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. So, so, uh -huh. so, so I'm putting in the parsley now. Okay. And then we the can parsley. put our garlic as well. So the, the garlic, we... All right. Mm -hmm. So you, you know were saying, saying something... Soft tissues, mm -hmm. but now which are these soft tissues? You talked about the breast. Yeah. Uh, what else? The testicles. The testicles, yes, in the case of prostate. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, how about in a case where we have like lung cancer? In a case? Or, or something on the throat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would, how then would the soft tissue bit help us? That's why I just gave an example of uh, one. Yeah, uh, there are many uh, ways of knowing if you have cancer. Right. Yeah. That is good. So that means we are saying mm -hmm. If you can eat right, mm -hmm. then you can as well prevent cancer mm -hmm. from forming. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And in the case, in an, an event that somebody already has cancer, mm -hmm. then eating right can help manage, and in some cases, mm -hmm. people have actually reversed certain conditions mm -hmm. by just eating right. Mm. So that's how important our food Yeah, is. and diet really plays an integral part because it's what we eat that makes our blood. Right. Yes, and so like we've been saying over and over again, blood, when it's acidic, mm. the cancer cells thrive there very well. Mm -hmm. But when it is alkaline, mm. then... They don't survive. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So what we're trying to do is making our blood alkaline mm -hmm. and making it clean and healthy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tell me, once it's ready, how do we serve it? Yes, how do we serve it? Yes. Of course, we can, we can use brown rice. Yes, you can mm. use brown rice, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes mm. chapati. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah chapati. you can make a roll, mm. a wrap, or rather a wrap. Uh, yes. Yeah, you can do chapati wrap. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, and you have your tasty, and I think good looking looking also food. I'll try it with ugali. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you love ugali. <laughs> the yellow one. <laughs> yellow, Just for brown. More color. I will do brown. For more color. Yes, yes. Okay. for more color. Mm -hmm. So but I think this is, this is ready rainbow. now. Mm -hmm. Yes. And some people who might want to just uh, boost their protein intake while they're having this particular stew, you mm -hmm. could top all over some sim sim seeds or whatever kind of seeds you would enjoy this pumpkin? with. Yeah, even ah. pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. At this particular point, we are rolling out another recipe, as we had mentioned. Mm -hmm. And this is also very beneficial for cancer patients as well. Mm -hmm. And we are calling it the Roselle Ginger Drink. Mm -hmm. And so let's have a look at some of the ingredients that we're going to use and why it would be very important for cancer patients to have these things in their diet. Okay. So the first thing that we have there is our Roselle. Roselle petals, mm -hmm. dried Roselle petals. Mm -hmm antibacterial property mm -hmm. in here, mm -hmm. antidepressant, mm -hmm. wow. anti-cancerous. Yes, anti-cancerous. And they are definitely blood boosters. Mm -hmm. They are blood boosters. Mm -hmm. And you know something, most cancer patients will have to deal with anemia. Right. So because of, because of the, you know, the tumors yeah. pull out, they draw out a lot of, they, draw out they actually lot feed of on so much blood. So yes. you need to boost a lot of blood for cancer patients, so you will have to have that. Yes, a to curb, Yeah, to curb the anemia that comes with the cancer. Also, it's a blood cleanser. 
Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it boosts as it cleanses. It yes. boosts as it cleanses. That's yeah. really, really nice. Because also yes. it's a laxative. Mm -hmm. It helps in the bowel movement in mm -hmm. a simple time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you okay. realize when you take this mm. together with the lemon and ginger, yes. then you'll need to visit the washroom. Often. Yeah. Often. And that's yeah. a clear way of dealing with, with cleansing toxins. from within. Yeah. Cleansing from within. Yes. And it, cleansing from that within. That means there is what? Yeah, Benefit this, this. in the digestive system. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the lemons. And, and the probably lemons. Before, before we get to the lemons, okay. actually, we need to make it clear. Where would someone get that? Mm -hmm. Uh, they yeah. can grow it. Yes. And actually in some places it just grows. It's yeah, just it grows, grows wildly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, and if if you if you find it difficult to identify it in the bushes around your homes, <laughs> probably you could just go to the nearby markets and mm. then you could get that as well. Yeah, sure. I noticed mm -hmm. now it's very popular. You it's go to Kibuye very, and yeah, several people have it yeah. there. It's yeah. very popular. And, and it's not expensive. No, no, no. No, it's mm. not expensive. So it's that's expensive. a good thing. Mm. Then another ingredient is the lemons. Mm -hmm. We have the lemons. Very rich in vitamin, vitamin C, C, of course. C. Of course, it yes. boosts the immunity mm -hmm. because you realize cancer patient, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are usually vulnerable to low immunity uh, yes. system, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. infections, and infections, all that. and mm -hmm. all that. And this is very good for the cancer yeah. patient. And you know, actually, uh, also with cancer, C. patients tend to also get very nauseated. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it yeah. It's, so it also it also helps deal with that nausea as well. Sure. Ah, yeah. That's yeah. That's right. So and then of course. Um, the lemon also tends to be very good in uh, in removing mucus from the system mm -hmm. ah, ah, uh, right. from organs as well mm -hmm. so when we take that ah, so you will tend, really, really eh? mm -hmm. yeah. tend to have a lot of spitting yeah you will tend to have a lot of spitting from it so it will help expel a expel. lot of mm. because you see cancer patients also tend to have a lot of mucus mm -hmm. build up mm -hmm. eh? right yeah. that happens with the uh, the, the, the changes in the body, yeah. yeah, when those cells begin to grow and mm -hmm. all that, oh, oh, there's a lot of, because cancer is basically some inflammation. Yeah. So with those inflammations, mm -hmm. then there is a lot of mucus. Exactly. You want to remove it. Mm. That is not what your body needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that oh, gives so us a reason. Simple, simple yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink is powerful. It's very powerful. Ah, it is it very works powerful. amazing. Mm -hmm. ah, that's nice. Wonders of nature. Mm. Yeah. You wanted to so say something yeah, about the Yeah, I wanted to lemon. say something uh -huh. about the lemons. Again. Yeah. Uh -huh but it's escaping my mind. So oh, we'll, we'll get it? back to the... Give yeah, her, we'll give her talk. <laughs> <laughs> Just do this. Do this. <laughs> do that. Yeah. Say, but so definitely <laughs> vitamin C, yes. yeah. the bit that I remember mm -hmm. is that its presence in our body uh, helps yeah. also in the uptake of other vitamins. Mm -hmm. so like you really iron. Need, yes. Like iron. Like iron. Yeah. So you need a lot of vitamin mm -hmm. C. And Lemons are a very rich sauce. Mm. Very rich. So sauce. of course, yeah. as as you're dealing with the anemia, that definitely will come because of low iron. The cancer cells consume yeah, your blood. Yeah, consuming a lot. Of yeah. So all your iron needs to be accompanied at least with vitamin C because vitamin C enables the absorption of absorption iron. Absorption of and iron. And also, mm. out of experience, it mm -hmm. kind of give appetite or the urge to eat. Yes. So you realize Dealing with the nausea. Mm. Yeah, the mm. nausea okay. part. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Mm. You know, the community that I come from, mm -hmm. they say it cleans the heart. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. it makes you lighter and you're able to eat even mm -hmm. when the, the appetite was down. Mm -hmm. okay. So that is a good thing. It's mm -hmm. a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then you have ginger. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ginger. Ginger. Right. And I want us to take note that this ginger was uh, already grated. Yes. And uh, put in some hot water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we are just going to steam it a bit, just a little bit. Yeah. But you could also just understand that the process, you just simply need to get some a small piece of ginger mm -hmm. and just grate it. Grate it. And then have it in your hot water. Put or you can pound water. it if you have a pestle under. Yeah, yeah yes. pestle okay. and mortar. Yeah. Yeah. You still can pound mm. it. Why would we want to put ginger in this drink? Because ginger has a lot of benefits in our body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, it curbs different forms of nausea. Mm -hmm. It is anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. therefore it eases the muscle pain and soreness. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about the cancer patient who wants to maybe uh, use it for... So yeah. Everyone benefits mm -hmm. from... Basically. I mean, we basically will mm -hmm. all benefit by from By the way, this drink, drink oh. this drink could be used by anyone, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So just try and incorporate it in your diet mm -hmm. just for... Uh, Prevention mm -hmm. is better than cure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is nice. All okay. right, but now somebody may ask, 
Roselle, mm -hmm. they don't know it, they've not seen it. So what do they do mm -hmm. just to keep what healthy? Are the alternatives? Mm -hmm. What other alternatives do we have? You can use, like for example, if it's someone who is in the village, for example. Yes. You can use the, you see the, the fruit trees? Uh-huh. The fruit trees, you can pluck the, the leaves. Yes. Like mango. Ah, that's an idea. Uh -huh. Guava you, leaves, yes. purple, yes. Yes. Yeah. avocado. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you have and lemongrass, yes. yeah. And then, you boil yeah, that. you boil the water and you mm. steep them in. Uh -huh. yeah. Just exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then like maybe five to ten or yeah. more. Yeah. You take the drink. Wow. Mm. You know, that's interesting yeah. because mm -hmm. we normally just don't think much even, about leaves. Mm -hmm. Actually, even we avocado, you just take as even about seven. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you put them. And mm -hmm. you steep in mm -hmm. hot and water. Steep in hot that water. drink is very, very good. And it's, I've noticed, and, uh, I don't know if that's also your experience, mm -hmm. Jackie. Mm -hmm. Anywhere where you have uh, that combination mm -hmm. of, of fruit tree leaves. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. It's very effective when purple leaves is actually there, mm -hmm. as compared to mm -hmm. the absence of it. Mm -hmm. You know, purple leaves also tend to have some, um, uh, they have more medicinal values mm -hmm. than That's true. probably That's other, true. other fruit trees. Yeah. Eh? So for the purpose of healing, make sure mm -hmm. if you can get purple leaves, mm -hmm. have it. Nice. Yeah. They are. Bitter. Also, if you have they meat, are they are bitter. bitter. With they a are bitter. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was <laughs> coming to that. <laughs> I was so coming bitter. to that to sweeten it yes. or to make it have that flavor. Mm. You can add if you can access a mint, yeah. uh -huh. rosemary, mint, yes, yeah. or rosemary, or lemongrass. Yes, mm. Then it will like be that. social. So then it will yeah. be more. Yeah, palatable. it will be more social. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I think this has hope. heated this, just this enough. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. So we can add in our roselle. Yeah. Okay. Throw in the roselle. Mm -hmm. And by the way, one of the reasons why you would have to have ginger in hot water is because ginger is more effective. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, it's not like, it's, it's not, not like, like garlic. Garlic, <laughs> garlic in hot like water, you I destroy it. We need more. Yeah, yeah maybe so we need um, okay. a bit more. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Don't do this with garlic. Garlic in hot water, you destroy the you nutrients. Destroy. But with ginger, the hotter the water, the better it is. The better it is. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, a bit more. A bit yeah, more. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. That's good. Now we can squeeze mm. the lemons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Give it a bit of a... Yeah, a shake. Mm. Good. And then you want to cover it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What's the best time to take this drink? I would suggest morning. Morning yeah, is morning good. Morning and evening as well. Morning is very good. Especially mm. now when you're dealing with nausea, yeah. then you want to give them that start in the morning. Yeah. So you give them, then they can... Now. And then also the best time to expel mucus from the body actually mm -hmm. is the early morning hours. Early morning. Now, as we said, you don't have to wait until you have cancer to take this drink. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So I was going to mention, like, mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, we are so used to, even though people want to live healthy, we think juices and we think, ah, uh, that one from the shop, mm -hmm. yeah. that one that's packed, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But we want to say that what you've done naturally mm -hmm. and straight from your kitchen mm -hmm. like this will tend to be more healthy mm -hmm. because you it is fresh. It's fresh. Yes, and mm -hmm. you've just done it. You're sure nothing else has gone into it, mm -hmm. so it's really beneficial. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, mm -hmm. there are these things we call wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tamarind. Mm -hmm. You know, tamarind, the first time I saw it in the market, I was like, what? Mm. What is this thing doing here? Mm -hmm. Because it belongs to the bushes yeah. there. But look at the benefits. Mm -hmm. Very, very beneficial. Yeah. So we so do well. So you could use the tamarind for sweetening? Mm -hmm. Yes, you could yeah. use it in for fact, sweetening. And yes. it actually mm. adds to the vitamin C content. Okay. Sure. Yes. Which mm -hmm. it boosts the immunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, prefer sweetening the drink, you can use lemon, you can use a mean as honey. Yes. Or you can use that's and make sure tamarind. you and make tamarind. sure you get. Uh, yes. you can they have to get organic. Uh, organic honey. Yeah. Yes. There, there, okay. there is also the risk of, of putting something that, can interfere with that. Mm. Uh, you can also true. add lem uh, uh, oranges. Oranges. Mm. Yes, for yes. sweetening. Yeah. And molasses. And molasses. But for make sure iron. make sure they are unsulfured. Eh? That's right. Mm. Yeah. Use yes. unsulfured molasses. Mm. And molasses mm. actually would have more benefits than honey in mm -hmm. this particular yeah. case because, because we are of addressing iron. Yes, anemia and cancer. An yes. Mm. 
So, so it's very rich in iron. Mm -hmm. So if molasses. you still want to boost your iron intake, mm -hmm. then you would make sure you have unsulfured blackstrap molasses. molasses. But That's you know, right. actually, even for sweetening, the people who don't like honey as well, probably they say the calories are high. You can mm. also use things like agave syrup mm -hmm. that comes from a tree. So for some people, they're very particular. They yeah. even feel bees are animals. <laughs> sure. So they still want, they still want plant-based uh, plant sweeteners. Okay. So yeah. I think this, this has infused has for infused. the in fact, one. another thing we had forgotten mm. is that Roselle has benefits in the people who have high blood pressure. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Yes. I know that for a fact. From sure. experience. From experience. Yes, mm. from experience. Personal Somebody, experience? Mm. Not personal. Okay. A friend of mine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a friend of mine really, really surprised me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were talking mm -hmm. health mm -hmm. and okay. we talked high blood pressure mm -hmm. and then he, he took this seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, he would take it like on a daily basis. And uh, in less than a month, mm -hmm. mm. Ah, his pressure got so controlled. The friend was taking it mm. plainly. Mm. Yeah, he was just doing Roselle. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was just doing Roselle. Not mixing with anything. Not mixing with anything. Well, now and you it have it. Worked very mm -hmm. well for mm -hmm. his pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's Which fine our now. Drink? Mm -hmm. Our drink is ready. You mm -hmm. could just have it for just about anything. If you feel you want to relieve some headache, mm -hmm. if you've had a long day, mm -hmm. if you need to relax your mm -hmm. system. This is something you need to have and also it helps you to deal with a lot of issues in your body. Yeah, so that is what we had for you for today. So in case you know people who are dealing with cancer or cancer patients, or you could try out some of these recipes that we have alongside other things that you'd probably find also beneficial. How is it? Oh. Mm. It's truly healing. Mm. It's good. You feel it as it goes. <coughs> mm. yeah. It's really good. The ginger in it mm. yeah. is really, really good. It's so, nice. So mm. that was that is it for today. We are happy that you watched this. Mm -hmm. Try out some of these recipes at home. Mm -hmm. Till next time, I was your host, Lois Otienda. This was my co-host, mm -hmm. Tabitha Ocheng. And our special guest. I'm Jackie Ombado. Bye. 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 Bye.